Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Data Start. In this episode, we have uh, another role of data scientist at a company that started the entire mobile phone revolution and this company is Nokia. So the role that we are going to analyze is that of a data scientist role at Nokia. And this role ha it has been posted for Noida, uh, which is in Delhi NCR. Let's jump into this role and try to analyze what are the requirements for this role and what all skill sets do you require to be able to crack a data scientist role at Nokia. Now, the first thing that you, uh, you would see about this role once you start going through the job description is that uh, this job description gives you in the beginning a little bit about what Nokia is. And what it says is that Nokia is a global leader um, in technologies that connect people and things. And what then it says is that with state of the so art software and hardware and services for any type of network, Nokia is uniquely positioned to help communication service providers, governments and large enterprises deliver on the promise of 5G, the cloud and the Internet of Things. So what becomes apparent very clearly here is that what Nokia's core business as of now is it is into the B2B segment. It is helping other network providers. Uh, for example, let's say Airtel in India, Vodafone Idea in India, uh, Geo in India, and possibly governments help uh, uh, help with the implementation of uh, uh, mobile technologies, cloud and IoT, etc. So here, what they give is again some more description that in how many countries it is present. It's surprisingly, interestingly, still present in more than hundred countries. After that, what they now do is in this job description, what we uh, what you would see is the responsibilities included in the store. So the first thing that you would see about the responsibilities of data scientists at Nokia is what you need to do. So you need to explore large data sets to surface use useful trends, signals and segments. Number one. Use analytics to provide predictive, prescriptive, and decisive insights that aid in business decision making. That's the first thing that you need to do. The second thing that you will need to do as a data scientist is you'll need to perform exploratory data analysis, generate and test working hypothesis, present and analyze historical data and identify patterns. Third thing you will need to do is enhance data collection procedures to include information that is relevant for building analytical systems. So one of the things that you will need to do as a data scientist is you will need to build data collection pipelines, how to collect data because data collection is a challenging task in itself. And that's what you'd be expected to do in this role. So basically uh, what this uh, so far, as you would see from these three points, is a very typical data science uh, role. No very specific things that has been asked for. And this is something that if you have good enough data uh, skills that you have built in your program and with real hands on experience, you should be able to crack this role. Apart from that, what has been also mentioned is that you need to design and implement a knowledge management system which supports efficient storage and retrieval of information. And the last thing is communicate results and educate others through reports and presentation, which is stakeholder management part of the role. So these are the job responsibilities uh, for this particular role. And what uh, Nokia has done is that although I would want more detailed description, but they have done for fine enough job to explain what is your required. So more or less what is required in a data scientist role, they have tried to uh, give it here. Now, after the responsibilities, what Nokia has done here is they have given you the basic requirements, qualifications that you need to have. The first thing that they're expecting you to have is a B or B tech, which most of you would have with PG diploma or PG diploma masters in data science. That is an additional add on overall experience of 10 to 12 years. That's what they require with at least three to four uh, years in the role of a data scientist. So what they're wanting is a mid career professional with approximately 10 to 12 years of experience. And there's usually not a hard and fast rule. This is the approximate range. So com companies, when they give this range, what they mean is that we require someone from even if you have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, is uh, more or less good, but the ballpark figure is 10 to 12. And you need to have three to four years of uh, experience in the role of a data scientist, right? So the reason companies usually mention this is that 
they know that right now a lot of lot of uh, people are undergoing data science programs so when you are undergoing data science programs they just don't want to take people who are undergoing these programs who have not worked on any projects who don't have any real world exposure to data science who have not put put in the hours and then they are applying for this role so typically companies expect right something like two to three years of experience two to four years of experience but even if you have little less than that and even if you have undergoing the program and you finished your program and you worked on really solid data sets and you have relevant experience let's say in telecom feel free to apply for the role uh, this is there is no usually hard and fast role uh, rule for what is the experience range required in data science apart from that what the company mentioned is that you should have experience with data with common data science toolkits such as r weka numpy matlab so they expect you to know multiple tools so either even if you know one or two of these tools that's more than enough apart from that what uh, is the requirement of the role is that if you know a data visualization tool like tableau and microsoft bi that is also very very helpful for this role uh, for this role uh, sorry uh, after that what is also required is that if you have pro programming experience in python java or another programming language that is a great add on since those of you who are watching this video are already learning python so this is already taken care of but the most important part here is this which you would be tested on in the interview that is should have the rigor in conceptualizing designing and running experiments and presenting findings clearly to both technical and non technical audiences so you should have the rigor to be able to do data science experiment to be able to conceptualize these experiments which is extremely important and where i if you have you if you have seen some of my previous videos where i see the big gap in the industry is between people who want to aspire uh uh becoming a data science scientist to what in reality data science in industry is there is a gap because data scientists who are undergoing data science programs they think that data science will be given to us uh, and everything will be perfect but it is not that and that's why you should have this uh, ability to conceptualize design and run data science experiment you should have a passion for finding meaning in large data sets and identifying actionable results very very important yeah um and rest is excellent communication skills and interpersonal skills that's expected from a data scientist right so those are the basic qualifications of the role the preferred qualifications are that you should have some experience with artificial intelligence machine learning and neural uh, uh networks right which which includes nlp algorithms if you have experience in telecom domain that's a great good to have and if you have pre sales experience if you work in any pre sales kind of role because uh, this is the beat nokia right now is selling its solution to a lot of lot of telecom companies so you'll be dealing with uh, b2b stakeholders so if you have know how to create bids and if you know how to do solutioning that's a great add on for this role as well so overall this role should not be difficult to uh, crack uh, what they are expecting you to know is the basics in terms of knowing the tools number 1 in knowing the uh, algos number 2 in knowing how uh, some of these things are actually uh, used in the industry and if you have some domain knowledge of telecom etc that that obviously is a great add on so this is what a, what the role of a data scientist at a telecom company like nokia looks like uh, this is a great role and uh, i believe those of you who are passionate about making a career in data science in telecom role should go ahead and apply for this role and uh, and keep customizing your resume so that you are able to get shortlisted for these kind of roles fast so this was another episode of data science and uh, data science data star i hope you would have loved this episode uh, if you did let me know which company which role would you want me to cover in another episode and i'll try my best to pick up that role for you thank you very much and see you in another episode of data star